Hey everyone, Lance here. I am excited to announce that my second book, Unraveling Deception, Discerning Darkness, is officially out and available now on Amazon. This book is a book that helps other people to understand that not everyone who professes Christ truly possesses Christ. I recently had a conversation with one of my atheist friends and, and he admitted to me, he said, Lance, it's not that I don't believe in God. It's more so that I don't want to believe due to the hypocrisy that I see with other people who say they believe, but they don't actually follow what it is they believe. And I thought that was very profound and how true that is in the widespread basis of those who are claiming to be Christian but not walking in the way of Christ. And so this book helps to unravel the deception that is out there. We know that uh, Lucifer comes as an angel of light, even if it were possible to deceive the elect of God. Uh, as A.W. Tozer once said, the devil is the greatest theologian amongst us all, and yet a devil still. And how true is that? Satan knows exactly how to deceive all of us uh, with what we are more susceptible to falling into, uh, but also deceiving us with half-truths. It's possible to preach part of the gospel, but not the full gospel. Many people are believing in a Jesus that isn't the actual Lord Jesus Christ of the triune God, but rather one that is constructed within their mind or that has been presented to them in a false manner. We know even Paul declares, if any man preaches another Jesus, let that man be accursed. He even warns, I believe it's those uh, in Corinthians, he says, uh, if, if you were to listen to another gospel, I fear that you would do well to put up with it. Meaning that there are many false prophets out there. There are many false gospels. And so what this book unravels are the false prophets. Uh, prophets? Are the false gospels? Are the distorted doctrines and mindsets of today's, uh, in today's society? And so this book is really going to help you be able to understand who is truly speaking for God, who truly uh, possesses God, and who is doing it more for show, who, who is only preaching half-truths, watered-down gospels. And this is essential for us to understand because, uh, as Paul says, it's not those outside the church were to judge, but is it not those inside the church? And there is a difference between uh, godly discernment and carnal judgment. We are called to discern those who say they're Christians. If someone is saying they're a Christian, but constantly living a lifestyle of habitual sin that is unrepented of, and they aren't seeking to get away from that, that is someone who is does not uh, truly possess the Holy Spirit. They are not truly born again because we know the Holy Spirit uh, from John. Uh, we know from the book of John that the Holy Spirit came into the world to convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. And we know that when we sin, we will be convicted by the Holy Spirit, but he will give us the strength to get back up, to repent of our sins, and to continue to walk down the righteous road. But if someone is claiming Christ, but they say, uh, no, this isn't sin, or yeah, that was for back then, but not now, uh, you know, I, I, can, I can do this. It is extremely alarming and very much uh, should alert us to the reality that this person might be thinking that they're a Christian merely because of what they utter through their lips, or maybe they even give mental assent. But we know that it is those who are truly born again who truly possess the Holy Spirit by truly believing that the Lord Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, and they are willing to repent of their sins. It's not merely believing Jesus is Lord and Savior, because true belief is willing to accept not only what Christ did, but what he declares of us moving forward. We, we're called uh, not to, we, we know that we don't work for our salvation. We're saved solely by grace through faith, but we are called to work out our salvation, as Philippians declares, uh, in fear and trembling. And we know it is by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. It is by the fear of the Lord that we hate evil. By the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord prolongs length and years of life. The fear of the Lord is a reverence and respect to truly not only put God in his proper place, but to accept that his word is truth. It, he, it means exactly as he wanted it to say, and we cannot bend or twist that. 
So this book is going to help you to understand, and, and it's a book of discernment, not of judgment. We don't need to go around pointing the finger and saying, oh, this person isn't living up to my standard uh, and so-and-so, so they're not saved. No, no, no. What it is, is it is discerning. It is giving us the discernment to say, wait a minute. You know, the Word of God says this, but this is occurring. The Word of God declares this, but this person isn't even wanting to follow in this way. The Christian life is not about perfection, but progression. We all have to start somewhere, and God is willing to take us where we are, but he's not willing to leave us where we are. And so when we begin our pursuit in the Christian faith, uh, it's going to ever increase in the knowledge of God as we continue to go to his word and understand exactly what it is uh, that it says. And so when we begin this pursuit, God is going to help uh, help us to walk in his strength and might because we know that we cannot live for God unless God is living through us. God knows that it takes his spirit to live according to his word. We can't do that in the flesh. We can't do that in our own strength. And even if we were saved by our own works, we know that scripture declares uh, we would be puffed up. Uh, we would say, oh, oh, look what I've done to earn my salvation. It is only by what Christ has done, but then there are attributes of the faith that naturally come after our true belief and repentance that is guided by the Holy Spirit. So this book is a book of discernment. You can find it on Amazon. Again, it is Unraveling Deception, Discerning Darkness. And uh, I look forward to continuing to grow with you. And may God just give you his wisdom and his discernment by his spirit to be able to truly detect what is of God and what is not of God.